what I can do here is go invisible. Okay, he doesn't have ignite. So I'm gonna lose the wave, but I mean, that's the best I can do. <laughs> Never underestimate the power of. Alan! Still 1k LP, but I've been losing 10 games in a row, so I haven't uploaded anything in a while. The last two days, I'm against a Tom Kench who's running Ignite. To deal with the slows, I think unflinching is very important. I have second wind. It's, maybe I should have gone conditioning. I've cut down to deal more damage to him at the end of the game if I'm side lane. To deal like 5000 damage. And fleet footwork to keep on kiting him. The enemy team is basically impossible to play against. They can't. Yeah. So I'm telling them, guys, I'm just gonna side lane the entire game. <laughs> and I'll try to. So yeah, the plan is, right, they all want to play at range and we have some sort of engage. So the plan is I keep Tom Kench in the side lane and then they can engage onto their long range. Because else Tom Kench is gonna frontline for them, they won't be able to access the Jin and the Zerath and my team should collapse. In general, I think we got very heavily outdrafted. I didn't um, devil any ability. Because I was scared that he might be in the top bush. And that maybe then I would need Q to like run away from him. He's just gonna farm with Q. I'm just gonna push him in. In fact, I should be pushing this more heavily. In general, like... If he doesn't want you to kill him, you can't kill him. That simple, really. Like, it doesn't matter if I go Doran's Ring and I go PTA. What not? Actually... There might be a very, very weird kill opportunity here. Yeah. So this is very weird, but it shows you... Okay. It shows you the strength of roaming. I originally just wanted to place a ward, but because the Akshan got him away. So... Uh, Tom Kench often likes to go into a bush. I kind of just... What I needed was my W so that I could run out. It was a nice sidestep by me. What I can do here is go invisible. Okay, he doesn't have ignite. So I'm gonna lose the wave, but I mean, that's the best I can do. I knew the W wouldn't explode immediately, so now the next thing I need to worry about is he might repeat gank me, but it's very unlikely because there's no camps here and he's kind of low. And yeah, if Tom Kench was positioned like closer to the tower, there would have been a chance that he goes for it, but this way there's no chance. So whenever you've got a pushing lane, uh, need to be a bit scared of Shaco ganks. In this case, I just saw a mid lane. And I'm, I will go. First, I'll make sure that I push in the wave. I'm obviously behind, but uh, I didn't really have a choice. Not be behind. If I can phrase it like that. Because it's kind of just the result of uh, of where the jungler decided to play. They have a power farming jungler, they have a Shaco. See, if I didn't have swiftness boots and stuff, uh, he would have been able to knock me up off that. But he wasn't able to do that.
Okay, so here I'll quickly run towards the crux. Bam, that's 33 HP basically for free. Not playing perfectly. For sure, getting some Qs that I shouldn't eat. The nice thing about Fleet Footwork is he literally doesn't have enough mana to kill you. Okay, it's very likely that he just reset, but just in case he didn't, I'll pop a pot. He might be in the bush, but it's unlikely, since he should have pretty good gold to base off. Base off of. Since Eve didn't get detected here, I'm gonna assume that he didn't have a pink. Okay. Yeah, he still stayed. He should have just based. I really want control wards over anything else so that I can deal with Shaco a bit more. I shouldn't have based just in the open. The fact that I died there was my mistake uh, because right there was a very slim chance that he's still there but realistically there was a chance. I should have respected that chance. Right now it's kind of too risky for me to go here because Shaco could just be camping. So um, I'll first try to secure as much vision as I can. Then I'll try to force the push through, but... An enemy has been slain. Don't really deal damage, but... It's just life. Once again, I lost a lot of XP here. Pretty much as soon as he uses his W. You have to start uh, in your W. So that you can run out. He's just trying to deny me CS, which is the correct thing to do. Ignited him, right? We knew that he wouldn't have flash. Um, but then once I saw, ugh, really, man, I deal so little damage. The fact that I didn't get the cannon in there, a bit of a shocker for me. Okay, so the second I saw Vex running up way. Problem is the wave is still in the state. Okay, Vex just showed him like forward. There's a very good chance of still being here. What? Okay, Akshan clearly did not pay any attention whatsoever. Not my base, but yeah. Nakshan is inting here. He's gonna give up a huge shutdown. That was close, I guess, but still doesn't. Does make it a good play, that was very bad by Akshan. Um, as the one trick that sometimes your champion doesn't fulfill any role. So then the only thing that you can do is to try to feed as little as possible. And to get as much pressure away from a team as possible. To be honest, he should be trying to... Um, what should he be? Ay ay ay. Yeah, Dakshan is playing a bit cringe. Uh, he should be just walking into the shrooms, because I think me not having any vision...
Uh, it's way more valuable than for him. Then, uh... The thing here is these sort of trades are still worth it for him because Realistically, he does not care about 500 HP. However, however he does care about... Um, I should have blinded him earlier, of course. My Evelyn's timing was a bit bad there. My job is just to set up free kills for my Evelyn. I was saying, I was thinking that Shaker might be there. I just wanted to take these minions and then run, but that is not the fate that I had. That I got. Maybe I should have just said, okay, fuck it, I'm leaving. But you need to be very, you know. Level minded to do such a thing. Shut down. And can he is just completely wasting it this time. I don't know why. So still, yeah. I am losing in terms of XP, in terms of gold, but again, I would say a big part of that. So a big part of that is me just missing Arikana minion, but it's also just Shaco. I mean, there's limited amount of stuff that I can do against that champ. Also put a ward in there. Okay, yeah, they go bot lane. You can see the power of Fleet Footwork pretty well in this game, I think. Like, a lot of the times I would have had to base, usually. After getting hit by this stuff, but... Uh, Because of Fleet Footwork, I'm allowed to stay in the lane. Telling my Evelyn that there is no pink here. She's doing a decent job power farming, killing, vibing. Dude, I've missed every single kind of minion. Ah. So I'll place the shroom like over there. I hope of. So I'm thinking about the shake right now. The only thing that I haven't warded is the lane. Yeah. He just does a lane gank. I have to use my flash, but at least he didn't waste his attention. But. Now you spend time going for me, use this ignite on me. Not even necessarily a win in my book, but it's pretty decent. I wanted to block stuff from him too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bit aggressive by the Evelyn there. I kind of just want to take this to be honest. Like, I don't know what my team is doing. Evelyn could have just ulted him and been okay. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't... Okay, Evelyn did not know how action works, it's okay. Champion is very new, of course. We just saw, we saw Shaco on our pink ward over there. We can't do anything anyways, we might as well clear this. I'm 
right now we're in a lot of danger of a lane gang from the Shaco. In terms of itemization, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'll probably build a Landry just to deal a bit more damage towards the Tom Kench. Most offensive options are usually oriented around burst, not against poke. Against poke, there's a limited amount of stuff that you can do really. The reason why I trade it like that is simply because if it works I get to get all my HP back with fleet footwork. Again. The Tom Kench lane is mostly about wave states, trading patterns and I think that's why a lot of people struggle with it. Okay, that was very weird. There might actually be a kill here. Damn. If I tanked it, maybe there was a chance, but... I feel like it's a good rule of thumb not to dive a Tom Kench. Tom Kench likes to complain, so I'll help him out. And socially interact with him. The holidays. Got a very nice vision set up, the jungle. We're also somehow... Dude, I've missed 5 can. Tell me in the YouTube comments how many uh, cannons I've missed. So here, as soon as I saw that one shroom isn't active anymore, I knew that it would be Shaco with a sweeper. One thing I could have done there is while he's attacking the pink. Oh, no, no. Uh, I didn't want to fight there, all I wanted to do was... Uh... Oh, what? Dude, am I in low elo? Uh, this isn't 1k LP, is it? This is like Grandmaster or something. Why is she going the AD build? She's going the AD Kaiser build when the AP build is so much superior right now. I'm not talking in terms of in general or something. I'm pretty sure I'm dead, yeah. It's ignite. Um, like the AP build is so much better because Kaisa can't actually access any of them. I know that we have a lot of AP, but fuck off with this render world. Could also go Riftmaker just to be slightly less squishy. It also helps against tanks. Okay, you know what? I'll go Rift Maker. Crown doesn't really do anything. It is a Masters game, yeah, so... Master for me is low elo and you can... Because there's a lot of weird mistakes happening, like... Evelyn... Right? An Evelyn should know how Akshan ult works, right? Just as an example. I think I'm playing pretty well so far, just like... The constraint of the matchup and the jungle. Playing around the vision pretty well. Maxing W second. Just because I'm building Boots of Swiftness and I don't have Dorans, I missed an absurd amount of. Hmm, somehow my entire team is dead. What? Why is Akshan in the middle of their team? That was a very surprising development. I need a stopwatch. <laughs> the 
this is so sad. Really dumb. Oh man. I got the knight 2k HP, shut down and another one, got a stopwatch. Like I used my flash because I expected Vex to use her flash in W, but instead she didn't use anything. Sadly my team is not good here. Tried to set them up but... Don't seem to agree with my philosophy on how to play this game. Somehow all of them are giga fed, I don't know how. It seems like this is another loss. The 11th loss in the book. Oh well, I will continue trying. Maybe this is the insane YouTube comeback. Vex could be coming for me. Ah, oh, she's fine. Okay. I'm not reading the chat, but you guys can have fun, I guess. Reading these guys argue. I feel like I set up my... I team very well Alan, for success, Alan, but Alan, they're constantly Alan, playing around the Shaco and pulling him top lane six times. Also getting my Evelyn fit, but seems like the draft and player gap put three at the end. So for my third item, I what to run. Should be giving up. I can bot lane up in a there, there's no way we can do anything. If you don't know what to do, Zonya is usually a good choice. The desperation play is fine, but it should usually be a desperation play that is, you know, based around five people engaging. This is why desperation plays can be nice. We have to go run, go for it. We're gonna get overrun. Yeah. I think Shaco doesn't have his VA either. So this. Could be a huge comeback. Take a good steal this or so, then so be it. Okay, well, extremely good for our team that they just did that. Broken Akshan revive and good vision was clutch there. Really, I want to check some sort of gold graph and see just how much we saved with that. Like, how much team gold we got from that. We once again weren't able to kill the Shaco, but we got his GA. Which is very valuable. Since we will have to group for next objective. I don't know why Akshan is top lane, like what he's doing there. Why the Silas is there as well. Um... I'll just try and get level 16, kill the super minion. Probably going void staff. Honestly.
What? Okay, I cancelled like 10 auto attacks there. Somehow. I don't know. I don't really know how. After flash. Oh, not good. I, I cancelled auto attacks on Vex. Really wasn't good. Okay, home guard, can you please activate? Okay, what? Oh, he just took a fuck ton of damage. The industry term for it. Still somewhat winnable though. Since now that we got the burn. They're probably gonna take our third in it, but we played for so long. The biggest problem is that they were able to get a lot of our uh, big resources, like my flash. Dude, why, I, why is Akshan top lane? Okay, I'm very confused about Akshan's top lane. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, we're fine. Increase tankiness. Okay, I'm gonna base. Hopefully my team sticks around. I'm basing. Okay, seems like my team is inting as soon as I'm not there. That's okay, I forgive them. Their objective bounties are gone, so can't be that far behind. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought I had ignite. Not gonna lie. Broken fear. Ah, oh, the fact that they're also low yet you can't seem to kill them is slightly tilting. Or slightly, I mean very, but... Alan! 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 I'm just Alan! barely lacking damage constantly. Alan! 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 Okay, proc this thing. Wow, we have never seen that combo. That was pretty cool, honestly. Just a bit of dodging. Okay. Uh, can she use her ultimate? Okay, Evelyn refused to use her ult, but that's okay. We got her. And we're getting a lot of resources, right? For sure, from all these inups. We're now basically a, we're even ahead in XP, so for sure helping us. The fact that we're surviving here. Guess it's a banger. Yeah, now most stuff just comes down to execution, like how well we play stuff mechanically. If we can dodge something, if you get caught out by anything, there's a very easy way to anticlimactic, anticlimactically lose stuff. But we'll try not to do it. We can't use stopwatch when Sonya when Sonya is anywhere nearby, sadly. Kind of need to watch out for Shaco, so that's why I'm not using the blue trinkets on the Shaco. Dead on other stuff. Okay, some guy is being very cringe. 
or using at all. Okay. Okay, our Evelyn had an aneurysm. I think contesting is better than not contesting. Yeah. We should really just back off, guys. Guys, <laughs> why aren't we just backing out of? No, no, no. Like we got them off the bar and we saw that they're no longer on it. For sure, we're gonna get interrupted here. Am I in vision here? Um. Hey, hey. Maybe I can stall for time for Akshan and friends. Unlikely. Okay, they stop chasing. Five manning mid. Still got Evelyn. Akshan is coming in a second. Why does Ev Evelyn just keep suiciding into everybody? I kind of uh, well played. Okay, I guess we lost that game. We we got them off the Baron, but for some reason they engaged, even though we had such a good position. <laughs> Never underestimate the power of the Scouts Code. Hut code. Hut code. Hut two three Scouts four. Code. Hut code. Hut two three <laughs> four. Yes, sir.